So today lesson, uh, we are talking about the uh, engineer practice. So that we saw that this problem. A finance Sasa K consists of supplies at the low, carrying a 10 MBR socket out there and is approved by the 20 MBR Tai C circuit breaker. So we have to determine uh, maximum for loop impedance and find a SASA kit based on the two that devo when the supply are available. So this means that it's given the uh, socket outlets are uh, rating. So there is a 20 MBR type circuit breaker, type C circuit breaker is given. So type C circuit breaker and 20 MBR is a rating is given. So circuit breaker type, type C, the rating is current is a 20 MBR. So we have to find out the for loop impedance. So in this case, I will to repair the table A by one of the AS three thousand. So AS three thousand table A by one. We look at the table A by one of the AS three thousand. So, so we repair the AS three thousand table, and we find out the table uh, A by one. So this is a uh, you see that this is a table A by one here. So Tai Chi circuit breaker, here is a Tai Chi circuit breaker. So Tai Chi circuit breaker, we saw it. And this Tai Chi circuit breaker is 20 MBR rating. So 20 MBR Tai Chi circuit breaker. So that will be the one Wi Fi. So follow MB that is uh, one Wi Fi. Oh, so this is the follow MB that we can uh, calculate one Wi Fi. Oh. The next problem is from the table A by 1, determine the maximum value of the fully evident to cause a few leases below to operate in the nominated time. The few rating 10 MBR requires 15 time 0.4 seconds. So the few uh, rating 10 MBR requires 15 time 0.4 seconds. So we have to find out. So supply voltage is at 230 volts. So we have to find the fault in evidence. So we see this and look at the table A by 1. So here is the root table A by 1. So this one is, 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 uh, is given the 10 MBR and 15 time is a 0.4. So 10 MBR is a rating, 15 time 0.4. So 10 MBR here, 15 time is 0.4 seconds. So here we got the 6.5, 6.40. So that the two that repo is divided by 6.40. So this is then, then we call it the two that repo. Divided by the 6.30. So you got 35 by 9 MBR. And then also the two rating 10 MBR, triple time 5 seconds. So in this case, we find out the 10 MBR and uh, 5 seconds. So this is the following MBR is a 9 by 2.0. So K are 8 by 2, we find out there's a 9 by 2. K by 2 by 8 by 2 is a face of 40, 433 of the air 3 down there. So the protective device rating is a 10 MBR and there's a 5 seconds to so the 9 by 2. So then 234 is divided by 9 by 2. So we got the, the answer. So there will be a 230 divided by the 9 by 2, you got a 25 MBR. So this is the way we calculate the uh, operating current. So the next one is a 2.2 a kilowatt quick recovery water heater. We find out the HRC is a few protection. So 2.2 kilowatt, 2.2 a kilowatt quick recovery is a water heater. It's protected by the HRC few processing. So we have to find out the maximum demand current, the fuse to protect, and the current rating carrying capacity of the cable. This one is partially surrounded by the insulation. So in this case, we have to utilize the V-sanified cable. So the facility that uh, we have to uh, find out the configuration of the protection. This is the IB less than or equal IN, less than or equal IZ. IB is a maximum demand current, IZ and is a protected device current, and the I, uh, IB is a maximum demand current, IN is a protected device current, a protected uh, device uh, rating, IZ is a uh, cable reading. So this is a IB less 
should be the less than or equal to i n or should be less than or equal to i z. This is the first condition. Second condition is operating current i two must be less than the one by four by four by i z. So the one by four by i z is a current given rate. I two is an operating current condition. So this is for the a uh, protected discharge device rating. So in this case, ah, uh, we have to utilize the ah uh, cable here, and then uh, we have to uh, utilize a ah one by five millimeter square cable. This arrangement for the short circuit protection is given. Okay, so this is the things that uh, we have to find out. In this case, ah, uh, firstly we have to find the ah two by two kilowatt ah uh, quick recovery heater. So we have to find the maximum demand current. So maximum demand current we utilize the table C one, C two, or C three. Of the air three thousand, so in this case, our domestic means that we have to utilize the table C one. Table C one, quick recovery heater. So table C one, we go to the look at the C at the page four hundred sixty four of the air three thousand, quick recovery heater. And we find out so that we see that the four hundred. So four hundred sixty four. So. Four hundred sixty-four of it is three thousand. Four sixty-four. So that we here is that you see that the table C one. This is for the maximum demand calculation. So the column one is a low group. Column two is a single domestic installation. Column three, four, five for the block driven unit. So this is the things that we what kind of the low and what kind of the place of installation. Depending on the type of the load, load group, and the place of installation, we have to determine the appropriate maximum demand current by using the table. So in this case, we find out the quick recovery heater. Quick recovery heater is a solid water heater. The same. So this is for the uh, load group is an F. So in this case, uh, this is a single domestic installation. So column two is this where we have to utilize the full load current. So maximum demand equivalent to the full load current. So full load current, how do you calculate? This is a slowly water heating kilowatt is divided by the supply voltage. Then you can calculate the supply voltage current. So then we have to find out the kilowatt. It's a two by two kilowatt, two by two by one time or three supply voltage two times the voltage. You call it nine by five say oh MPR. So this is the full current is a nine by five say MPR. So in this case, the IBS is the maximum demand current is a nine by five say MPR. So we we calculate that. And then we also have to find out the Huge protection. Huge protection. So in this case, nine by five say MBR. So huge protection I M must be the greater than the nine by five say MBR. Because according to this equation, I B is a maximum demand current. I M is a protected by rating. Protected by rating must be greater than the uh, maximum demand current. So we look at the table as eight by one. Of the A three thousand, so the the A by one is a page of forty two hundred thirty three of the A three thousand. So we look at the four thirty three of the A three thousand rule. So in this case, our pure rotation, pure rotation is a five four second pure rotation. So that will be the nine by five C and B R is a given. So this is a protected by rating. That if you select the ten and B R protected by rating. So that will be the uh, following impedance is a C by four ohm, and this, then so this is a greater than the maximum demand current. So firstly, we are uh, temporarily select the ten MBR sir uh, rating because of the ten MBR pure rating is a greater than the nine by five C. So this is we select the ten MBR. In this case, ah, uh, uh, this uh, pure duration maximum ah uh, following impedance is a uh, if you use a HRC pure, that will be the C by four ohm. So we select a ten and the rating. So we select that ten and the rating. So there will be uh, I N is much greater than the I B. Then we have to find out the I Z. I Z is a we have to supply the wire cable side. Cable side we have to utilize the A S three thousand A. So the there are three thousand A S A S three thousand A got there's a four situation. So if you select the Table in the A that we are enclosed table, so table three by one have to utilize. It's a table enclosed. In this case, you have to utilize the table as a three by two. 
Underground insulation, installation are increased to 3 by 3. Underground increased to 3 by 3 by 4. Now, uh, this program is given the all surrounded by the insulation. Partially surrounded by insulation. So, there will be the enclosed. So, the partially surrounded by enclosed enclosed. So, therefore, this is why that we have to utilize the table 3 by 2. Table 3 by 2, we have to utilize. So, table 3 by, 3 by 2, we have to utilize. Another thing is a water heater, is a domestic uh, installation. The domestic installation is that there will be the two uh, single co cable utilized. So, two single co cable, and we find out that uh, we use a table 3 by 2. So, the, uh, we look at that uh, AS3008. So, this is the AS3008. We find that the table 3 by 2. So, we go down and then look at the table 3 by 2. So there we use table 3 by 1, 3 by 2, 3 by 3, and 3 by 4. So four table here. So we look at the table 3 by 2. So section 3. So this is table 1. So uh, this is how to utilize a table. So we look at the table 3 by 2. So table 2, table 3 by 1, this is enclosed, here is a table 3 by 2, enclosing A, so enclosing A, table 3 by 2, so two single go cable we just utilize, and partially surrounded by insulation, this is a partially surrounded by insulation, two single go cable, so two single go cable partially surrounded by insulation, so there will be table 4, 5 or 6, they have to utilize, so this is item number 3, so then we have select, select that, Item number three, table four five. So table four five, item number three. So table four five is uh, here. Table four five, item number three. So two single book table, table four five. So there will be the column eighteen nineteen, or the table six column thirteen has to be utilized. So this is the ways uh, we look at the table. Column eighteen nineteen, and table six. So Table 4 for the copper, and this is a table 4 for the uh, 75 degrees centigrade, table 5 for the 90 degrees centigrade, and table 6 for the 110 degrees centigrade. So there are three situations. So depending on the uh, operating temperature of the your wire, if you use as a 75 degrees centigrade so operating temperature wire, we have to utilize the table 4. 90 degrees centigrade operating temperature, we have to utilize the table 5 or 110 degrees centigrade uh, operating temperature, we have to utilize the table 6. So this is the table 4 by 6 we have to select. In this case, uh, it's given the uh, V75, so this will be the 75 degrees centigrade operating temperature. Therefore, we have to utilize the table 4. So this is the uh, table 4 has to be utilized. So table 4 is utilized, so this is the table 4, column 1819. So, so that from the table 3 by 2 is the far the table 4, corner 18 and 19. So then deleting is a table that 22. But this problem is does not have the deleting. It does not mention about deleting. So only we have to utilize the look at the table 4, corner 18, 19. So we then we go down and then look at the table 4. So that from the table 3 by 2 is the far to the table 4, corner 18, 19. So here is a, the table 4 here. So this is column 1 to 13, go down and here you see the column 18, 19. 18 for the, this is for the copper, 19 for the aluminum. So 18 for copper, 19 aluminum. So this is the copper and aluminum, we got it. So the, from the disk cable, we are using the, if you select the 1 by 5 millimeter square, firstly we, we start from the, select the cable. So, the minimum cable size is uh, at least a uh, 1.5 millimeter square. 1.5 millimeter square, in this case, if you select the copper, the maximum demand, the current is a uh, 40 MBR. Cable rating current is 40 MBR. So then we uh, use, utilize. So in this case, uh, here is a uh, we can now get the uh, fuse rating maximum, uh, operating maximum demand current is a 9.56 MBR. And then we can utilize a Give us a rating will be the uh, fuse protected device rating is a uh, 10 MBR and 
Messi man the man garden of the game uh, give a region for the India. So they we can utilize ID is a Messi man the man garden nine by five six. So they did by reading a ten MBR IN and give a reading a forty MBR. So if we agree with the ID less than IN less than IZ. So if you select the table as our one by five millimeter square, this is we just have first condition. But we still need to satisfy with the second condition. Second condition is here is a second condition given. Operating current I2 must be less than the 1 by 4 by die IZ. So the IZ is a we got we calculated. IZ is a 1 by if you said the IZ are 40 MDR. 40 MDR, 40 multiply 1 by 4 by you got a 20 by 3 MDR. I say 20 by 3 MDR. I do is an operating current. How to calculate the I do operating current? So I do operating current is if you select the 10 MBR as a future rating, we have a closing the table 8 by 1. There will be the follow evidence 6.390. So here you see there's a table, here is a 3000 table, 8 by 1. If you select the quoted by ratings are 10 MBR, in this case, follow NVIDIA is a 6.40. So this 6.40 is a follow NVIDIA. So the two that the four divided by 6.40. Then we can calculate the operating current. So operating current by this way, 2 that divided by 6 by 4, we calculate the operating current. So 2 that divided by 6 by 4 is 35 by 9 4 MBR. I do we got. I do must be less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ. So 39 by 5 by 9 4 less than 1 by 4 by IZ. So the IZ we calculate is that here you got the 24 by 8. IZ is 24 by 8. Now you said that only the IZ is a 14 MBR is a not enough. So we must select the higher uh, rating, 24 by 8. Based on the 24 by 8, we must rating the utilize the higher uh, rating. So in this case, uh, we look at this uh, AS uh, 3008. Okay. So we can you we can utilize a uh, 1 by 5 millimeter square. We cannot utilize. But if you select a 2 by 5, the current is only 20. Now why you got a uh, current is here is a next current is a, you got a 24 by 8 24 by 8 so that you have to set this uh, appropriate side the appropriate side is a uh, 40 MDI 1 by 5 20 MDI 2 by 5 so 24 by 8 is uh, around nearly 25 you got a 4 million square so KBSI is 4 million square we select it so this is the way so now we got the answer KBSI is a 4 million square so this is the way we calculate. So therefore, the, in this problem, if you select the protected divide rating, then and the protected divide rating, and machine man demand color in nine by five six, IZ value, IZ value is uh, twenty five MBR K base I four millimeter square. So this problem is a uh, we select the appropriate K base I to satisfy with the protection configuration. So the so firstly we Select the IV by using the maximum demand table. Tables are table C1, C2, C3. This is the things that we select as a maximum demand current. And then so based on the maximum demand current, we select the appropriate uh, protected by reading. And then we compare with the, the, this equation. Utilize this equation. IZ equal to I2 must be less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ. So from here you got the IZ. So based on this IZ value, we use the AS of 3008 3 by 2 because of partially surrounded. So enclosed in L. And from this equation, we can select the appropriate given side. So the in this case are uh, uh, two single given situations. So we select the item number three. So this item number three of the AS of 3008. So item three of the AS 3008. So this item 3 of the year 3008, because of the, we are selecting the uh, two single go table. So it's referred to the table 4, 5, and 6. So the table 4 for the 75 degree centigrade operating temperature table. Table 5 for the 90 degree centigrade operating temperature table. 
and they will say for 110 degrees centigrade operation temperature table. So in this case, we use that 75 degrees centigrade. We be centigrade. So we refer to the table four. So we refer to table four, and then call an 1819. So table four call an 1819. We got it. So this uh, for the copper, we utilize the table uh, call an 18. Then four millimeter square. So this is 25 gram um, MBR current. So this is for the uh, Given selection. So this program show the total certified uh, configuration as well as a given selection. Okay, so then so we are utilize a residual current device, a RCD. RCD is other residual current device. When the electrical fault current is up for happen, the up for current will is sensed by the RCD and the trick of the supply. So this is a uh, RCD is a construction. RCD called the total right go. And this is a uh, incoming current and outgoing. So normally, uh, the current I want is the uh, from the supply to low current, and current I do is a uh, rebound current from low to the supply. Normal condition, I want is equal to I do. There is a no trick current. So in normal condition, I want I do is equal. RCD does not detect the imbalance current, so there is a no trick. But when the R for happen, so some of the electrical current will flow to the R. So this is the sun electrical current from the drain current shall flow to the R. So the I1 and I2 are way no longer be equal. I1 is greater than the I2. So there's an imbalance current happen. Here is the I1 current, here sun R current go to the R for, and then the I2 is a coming, so I2 less than the I1. So I1 is greater than I2, so imbalance current happen. Because of the imbalance current between the I1 and I2, RCD detect and treat the supply circuit breaker. So this RCD detect treat circuit, we cut off the supply. So this means that sometimes we are supply not available because RCD has already treated the upper current. So in this case, you cannot uh, reset the RCD because you need to find out the upper current and you have to clear the upper current. After you clear the upper current, then you can treat the RCD. Otherwise, when you treat, whenever you uh, reset the RCD, RCD will be treated off because of the upper is still exists. Therefore, the, when the RCD treat off and the supply is uh, off, what you have to find out is there might be there's uh, some upper current because of the sun insulation broken down and the current flow to the up. So you have to find out the upper and then you have to clear the upper pass and then you can uh, trip, uh, reset the RCD. So this is the way that RCD tripping is an important aspect. So then there are the type of the RCD. Type 1 RCD is a, depending on the unleaking currents and residual current, RCD types are selected. Type 1 is a 10 milliampere. Type 2 RCD 10 to 30 milliampere. Type 3 is a 30 to 300 milliampere. Type 4 is 30 to 300 milliampere with the type link. So those are the type of the RCD. So we also got the supportive RCD. Type L is a uh, household, household application, we can utilize the type L. And general industrial application, we can utilize the type H. So the, the RCD can be operated by the AC or the DC. AC type is a, you can only use the AC only. And, and also the type a is a AC and then also you can utilize the pass settings of DC. Type B A you can utilize the AC, pass settings DC plus continuous support current. So those are the kind of these are four current rating you have to select, utilize a select the RCD type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 and portable RCD is a type A and type H depending on the household and general industry. And also whether you are using the AC or DC you can utilize the AC type or A type and B type. So this is the way you utilize the RCD. So, maximum one RCD can protect the some maximum three of finite sub circuit. So, they must not be more than the three finite sub circuit. So, one RCD have to protect the maximum three finite sub circuit. And more than three finite sub circuit, you have to arrange another RCD. Two RCD. Uh, if you sometimes you are utilize a two RCD. In this case, uh, uh, more than the one lighting circuit. If the lighting circuit is more than one, you have to utilize the two RCD. So in this case, uh, they are light one, light two, uh, light one, lighting circuit two one, lighting circuit two two, lighting circuit two three. So the 
and why a two a utilize a RCD one and also the a two a three and one a two RCD two a two a three RCD two. So this is the things are uh, RCD arrangement. So in sometimes we also utilize a lightning strike. When to protect the lightning strike, we have to utilize a side strike So in this case, uh, when the lightning coming, the lightning current is a lightning current is uh, diverted to the ground by using a such Taiwara. So this is what the connection of the such Taiwara. So this is the ways uh, we uh, connection diagram of the RCD. So that will be the consumer made. So here kilowatt hour meter, kilowatt hour meter. So this kilowatt hour meter supply the water heater and this kilowatt hour meter may sway and supply the electric range. So the that, and the other things are just supply water heater in nuclear go to nuclear link. That one go to nuclear link. So this is a nuclear link. Then nuclear link is connected with the other link and also this is the supply nuclear. So this is for the uh, kilowatt hour meter for water heater and electric range. So this is for the power, power connection. But if you are using the electric uh, lighting circuit, so this uh, kilowatt hour, this kilowatt hour, uh, this line connected to the RCD1, RCD2, so this is local 1 and local 2, local 1, local 2. So this local 1 you trade connected to the protecting you trade, and also that this one connected to a protecting you trade, this RCD connection. And then this protecting is uh, low, low is connected to the uh, arc connection in border because of the every uh, water heater, every electric ray, and also low must be connected to a arc. A wire is a green. Or a wire are connected and are connected to the alling. So alling and the nucleus are connected at the main by using the main nuclear link. So this is the configuration of the electric circuit. This electric circuit include the water heater electric range. The water heater and electric range are then connected to the supply and going to the unprotected neutral. And also that they are also include the lighting and the power source. Lighting and power source are the uh, connected by the RCD. RCD need to protect. And then so those nutrients are connected to protecting nutrients. The dead protecting nutrients are uh, connected. So the protecting nutrients and the main us are uh, also connected. So this is the way we are connect, uh, connection, uh, configuration, configuration of the RCD that protection. So this is the point that Overload and a circuit protection. So we can use the overload circuit, another overload circuit. So this will be the RCD2 RCD protection. So that will be the AC RCD, uh, here, AC and passing RCD type A, and AC passing RC and uh, DC and the residual that sign you try there, that will be a type B. So this is what the symbol of the RCD. Kind of the RCD, they are symbol. Here is a reconnection of the main supply. And here, like one, like two, like three, like three, power one, power two, such switch. And here, RCD one, RCD two switch. So this is the main switch, uh, uh, configuration diagram. So supply main switch, or a red wire is connected to a supply main. And so they are connected to the low. And here is a neutral wire, is a black one. And our wire is, is a green one. So this connection is a configuration of main switch. And Control switch for the line one, line two, power one, power two, power three, and also RCD connection. So the RCD connection and configuration of the supply switch, main switch, and also the power active and the neutral and then a connection and the other neutral link. That connection you can see. And also here you say unprotected.